Nobody in here. Oh, Bridget, you are you sure business? nobody's called? Nobody's called. I mean, that, well, there have been lots of people that called, but not your Dr. Jamie, dear. I can't believe he stayed away all night. Aren't you supposed to be at the chapel for the wedding? Oh, I can't go. What do you mean you I can't, can't go? just show up without Jamie. Well, you have to go. I mean, Nicole's your aunt, dear. How many times can I make up the excuse that Jamie's got some emergency at the hospital before somebody figures it out that we're never in the same place together? Well, you have no choice, dear. You know Miss Donna's going to have 17 fits if you're not there at that wedding. I can't believe he stayed at the hospital. Well, you've got to give him time, dear. He didn't even call to find out how Stephen's doing. Well, he's got to find out things in his own way. You know that. You've got to understand that. And what if he meant it? What do you mean? What if he meant that he's never coming home? D never mind, dear. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, oh Mrs. Hello, Connie. Bridget, where's my son? Oh, come in. Going over the baby. Hi. Hello. Hi, Rachel. How are you? How are you? Oh, you look beautiful. Thank honey. you. So do you. Thank you. Well, I came over to see if you two wanted to go to the wedding with me and also to get a peek at the baby. Oh. Uh, so where's your Is he upset? No. So why should I believe you? You can't trust me, can you? I'm just tired of you crying wolf. What are you talking about? You've been playing with my head since the day I first met you. I just said I was going to tell you everything, and now you're jumping down my throat? Right. Why did you have to pick now to tell me? My brother is getting married. At least I think he is. You could have told me all of this beforehand. There are some things that you have to know. Right. My brother just stormed out of here. I don't know what's wrong, and I don't know where he went. I think I do. How would you know where Cass went? You're going to listen to me or not? I have been over backwards, to be fair with you. And now I am going to do what's right for me. Hey, you're going to have to listen to me now. Do you understand? Have you seen either of them yet? No. I don't like this at all. Relax, Liz. Cass and Nicole are going to get married today, I promise you. I have to talk to the minister. Just calm down. And keep that on until the service is over. I will, I. Look, and if you're waiting for me to escort you down the aisle, you can forget it. All right, fair chance. Excuse me. Uh, do you know what side you're sitting on? Well, Zach, I'm with the groom, right? Mm-hmm. So I sit on the right side, right? Okay. What do you know? Hi, Zach. Oh, Charlene. John, are you on the brides or the groom's side? Brides. Okay. We'll find our own way. Thanks. Hey, we didn't have to come. I like Nicole. It's just her future husband I'm not too sure about. That's not Zach's fault. I know. I'm hey, sorry. you guys, um, have you seen Cassie here? Well, I assume he's probably in the rectory with the minister by now. No, that's the problem. He should be there, but he's not. What is everyone worrying about? Cass will be here. You sure about that? Aren't you? Yeah, I am sure. I mean, th th there's really no problem. It's just that we seem to have misplaced the groom. I, Nicole, take thee, Cass, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, through sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish. Cass. Tell me it's not true. What? Just tell me. I, no, I don't know what you mean. Don't lie to me now. Cass, it's bad luck for you to see me in my wedding dress before the wedding. Oh, stop it. Just stop. I don't know what's gotten into you. Cass, you're supposed to be at the church. Did you kill Jason Frame? Did you? You are my way. You are my way. Of the world. You are the one who lets me fly so high. You are the
Uh, no, Jamie's not upstairs. Where is he? At the hospital. Oh, another emergency. Yes, it's been a really tough week. Is he gonna make the wedding? Oh, you I... know, Mr. Jamie. You know he, he doesn't like to rush things. <laughs> right. Uh, where is uh, Mr. Corey? Oh, he had to be out of town, so I thought maybe the three of us could go to the wedding together. It's such a great idea. I just uh, wish Jamie was here. Well, do you think he'll make the reception? I hope so. Well, why don't I go get Stephen? Great idea. Right right. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you, Bridget. Right back, you know. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Well, we missed you at the anniversary party. I'm so sorry. I, I felt really rotten, and Jamie insisted on being with me, and that's why we had to leave early. Well, it didn't matter. We had a lovely party and we missed it. Oh, well, I... Uh oh, oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Hello. 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 Oh, let me have your purse. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Oh, you have. Oh, yes, you have. Well, I wish you would come by more often. Thank I really you, want Stephen to grow up around his family. Right? Well, we'll just have you come with you. Jamie, I, I uh, didn't think you were going to make it. I told your mother about your emergency. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you know, I think this little fellow looks more and more and more like you. Well, he does, doesn't he? He is just the spitting image of his daddy. Cass's whole life runs on a different clock than everybody else's. I, I mean, he, he's late for everything. I really hope you're right. This sort of thing happens all the time. Sure it does. Yeah, right. I, I, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm I guess sure. it's just because... This is Nicole's big day. You know? Well, everything's gonna work. Oh, well, here's Jake. Maybe he knows where our missing couple is. Excuse me. Hey, Zach. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Where's Marley? Ah, uh, she's at the floor. Some crisis about the bouquet. She should be here. <laughs> right. Look, uh, I'm glad I got a moment alone with you. I wanted to apologize to you. What for? Uh, because I haven't got back to you on that per uh, paternity research work. Oh, that's all right. I know you've been uh, busy with Felicia's case. Look, I haven't forgotten you, Jake. Look, the sooner you can get at that, the better. I, uh, I may be making a move sooner than I thought. I just want you to know I'm really glad you two decided to come today. You mean after what Cass did to us in court? Yes. Well, we're trying to put all that behind us. We're here for Nicole, not Cass. I understand he was trying to help Felicia. It's his methods that I find questionable. Well, you and me both. It's just that Cass believes the real killer is still out there. How could you ask me a question like that? Are you going to answer me? We're getting married in a few minutes, Cass. Nothing's changed. Look at me. I said, look at me! Tell me you didn't. Tell me to my face that it isn't true. Oh, my God, Nicole. Oh. No! Cass, it was just an accident. It was all horrible. Mistake. Oh, please, try to understand. Understand? All of this time? No, he had a gun. He was threatening to kill you. What are you doing here? I saw you in the crowd and followed you. I'm very flattered, but I'm a little busy. Nicole, Wait, right? no, no, those threats you made about Cass. Yeah, I meant him. He will pay for ruining me. How? When I do what I have to do tonight, I will see to it that Cass never bothers me again. No, no, you, you can't hurt him. Oh, yeah? Watch. No, I won't let you. Play with I won't let you. Oh, Jamie, you got to stop. It never should have happened. Oh, I did it for you, Cass. I love you more than anyone in the world. Oh, you have to believe me. You love me? Yes, you know I do. You let them send my best friend to prison. No, no, I, 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 di I didn't think it would happen like that. Oh, Cass, Cass, we're getting married today. I'm married? I don't even know who you are. going on here? Leave us alone, Donna. I will not. Nicole, what is it? What Donna, are you please, to you? just go. Cass, you're not even finished getting dressed. We're late. Leave okay? us alone! Would somebody please tell me what's going no, on here? No, you just here? go on ahead to the church. Now I'll take care of everything here. Nicole, no, just leave us. Let yes. me handle this. I'll, I promise we will be there soon, We're Donna. We're supposed to arrive together. Well, we, uh, we will, Donna. I'll be there if soon. If you're not there in a half an we hour. We will be, Donna.
How did you find out? Is that all you have to say to me? Cass, please. Derek remembered seeing a woman in the Hall of Mirrors wearing a certain pair of earrings. So he and Frankie showed up at the Brava anniversary party hoping they'd see her wearing them again. And sure enough, they did. That's why she kept talking to me. She's the one who told me. <laughs> of course, I said it was a lie. It never should have happened. How could you keep this from me? I never meant to hurt anyone. Well, you hurt me. Putting all those people on the witness stand, forcing them to talk about things they're ashamed of. Yes, I was dying inside. You're the woman I love, for God's sake! We're gonna be married! You really didn't do this, did you? Oh, Cass... Please tell me it's a mistake. Please. I can explain. I hope you can, because I don't know how you could love me and lie to me about something like this. Please explain it to me, because I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. All right, so tell me. I've known Fanny for a long time, since I was a kid. But you said that she didn't remember you. Not at first. But she does now. I haven't seen her since I was 10 years old. What? She was my only friend. Come on. I was an orphan. Fanny's stepfather used to take orphans in at his parish. Second, and you knew no one. He tried to say he was good, but he wasn't. He hurt Fanny. Yeah, I know. She told me that. I never wanted to take help from anybody, but Fanny changed that. She'd bring me food. She'd read me stories. She sort of took care of me. I wanted to take care of her, too. Then you must know something about Noah's death. Yeah. So that's your secret. I was afraid he was going to hurt her. I would hear them arguing. I knew something terrible was going to happen, and it did. And you were there that night? He was hitting her. And she begged him to stop. I couldn't stand it anymore. And I ran upstairs to help her. So you saw. Oh, my God, I think I understand. No, I don't think you do. You saw Fanny kill Noah. Stacy. Oh, now I understand why you didn't want to testify. You've been protecting her all these years. I did protect her. Right, and then she did the same thing for you. When she didn't identify you as the strong man. That's not what happened. Well, then what happened? I did I not see Fanny kill Noah. Wait, how... Fanny didn't do it. But she said when she was being hypnotized, she said that she did do it. She just thought she did. It was me. Well, thanks for the offer of a ride, Mom, but maybe you and Vicky should go on without me. Uh, no. Uh, well, I'm running a little bit late, and there's no reason for all three of us to walk into the middle of the ceremony. Well, I'll wait for you to get changed, and if you could just go on ahead and send our apologies, that would be great. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, at least I got a chance to see this one. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, have you talked to Mac? Yes, I have. He's fine. Oh, good. Good. Um, so I'll see you there, okay? Yes. Bye, Mom. Bye. Maybe I'd, I'd better go and put Stephen... Down again, eh? Okay. Come on, there. Here we go. Here we go. I'm glad you came home. Yeah, well, it's Nicole's wedding. I have to be there. I know. Listen, I'll be ready in a few minutes, okay? No, Jamie, wait. I don't want to talk, Vicky. I missed you. Did you? Well, you wouldn't have come home if you didn't miss me. I didn't come home, Vicky. I'm still staying at the hospital. We have to talk. No, we don't, Vicky. We... I am quite willing to keep up this little charade. Of a happy marriage we for the time being. We can't work through anything until we talk. We're not going to work through anything, Vicky. Haven't you figured that out yet? No. Well, I have. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Marley. You're thinking about Marley? You're not? What about us? Do you ever hear yourself? What about your son? I have change. Pull yourself together unless you want to announce to a church full of... 
people, but, um... Well, it doesn't really matter, though. I'll find out about you soon enough, just like I did. Jamie. deal with killing someone. What did you do? I ran. I've been running since that night. You were... you were protecting Felicia. He would have killed us both. Here. Is that how you got the scar? came after me. He had a piece of glass in his hand. Oh, my God. Till I talked to Fanny, I never told another soul about that night. So you had no family? You had no one to go to? I was fine. Oh, no wonder you live like you... I live fine. And I don't need your pity. It's not pity, Derek. And what is it? It breaks my heart to think of a little boy out there all alone and frightened like that. Look, I told you the truth. Now let's just let it alone. Wait, I understand. I understand why you have to live how you do. I... It just makes sense now. I tried to keep you away from me. But you couldn't. I was drawn to you. We were worried about Fanny. No. We had to find... It was you also. Derek, I wanted to understand why it is that your, your freedom meant so much to you. Why you couldn't become attached to anything. I didn't have much choice. You didn't have to step forward. You volunteered to testify. You risked everything, and especially the thing that was the most important to you. You could have lost it all, but especially your independence. You must really love Felicia. I wonder if I could ever be that selfless. I really admire you. I would have done anything for Fanny. She's the only person in my life that showed me that people can be good. Until now. Hello? Michael? No. Where are you? Are you at the church? He's not there? Okay, I'll come over as soon as I can. What is it? It's Cass. He's not at the church. I'm really worried something I is know, wrong. I know where he is. How could you know where he is? You said that He's before. He's with Tell Nicole. Me. I don't think there's going to be a wedding today. <laughs> hey, sis. Now tell me, do all the women at these things look like you, and do all the guys have to look like waiters? Reuben, this guy is not happy for his little sister. What's Isn't up? that terrible? What's up? Hey, what, you think she's too good for Rick? Well, as a matter of He's fact... He's a terrific guy. Yeah, for a cop. Look, Julianne called last night. She's planning for a summer way. That's great. You're invited. I am? Yes. Well, that's it? No engraved invitation or nothing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to come with me on one condition. Uh-oh. Now, this I want to hear. Oh, Reuben can it. I'm sorry, I, ain't none of my business. Excuse me, none of my business. I'll just stay right out of this. Ain't none of my business. <laughs> Look, I, I want to take a whole week and spend it together in California. Ooh, well, I don't know if I can get the time off from the hospital. Oh, I know I would if I were you. Oh. Because knowing this guy, this is probably a one-time offer. <laughs> oh, I love weddings! <laughs> Don't push it, baby. Well, it's true. Let me say hello to Charlene and John. Hi. Hi. Well, I could have waited and gone with you because the bride and bridegroom are here. Oh, Nicole is fussing and Cass is probably pacing nervously. You know, it was a really nice surprise to have you come by this morning. Oh, it was fun to see the baby. Well, I meant what I said. I would love it if you would spend more time with us. 
Why don't we do lunch next week? What, is Jamie usually home for lunch? Well, he tries to make it home every afternoon oh. to have lunch with Stephen and me, so it would be a perfect time for us to get together. Well, why don't we wait until Matt gets back? Well, we could firm up a date now, and then we could make sure that Jamie has the afternoon off. What do you say? I say I'll think about it. <laughs> What is going on? I mean, Cass isn't here. Where's Nicole? They're both over at our suite. They're what? I came downstairs. Cass was there. Nicole was crying. What the heck is going on, Donna? He practically Anna? threw me out of my own home. Nicole didn't say a word. Michael, something is terribly, terribly wrong. Tell me what happened. I never wanted it to be this way. Tell me, Nicole. Well, it all happened so fast. I tried to get the gun away from Jason. And then... it went off. I just stood there for a minute, and, and then... all I could think of was finding you. I didn't know Felicia was there. You didn't see her? No. Then what? By the time I found you, you were in there with Mitch, taking care of Felicia. I heard her say that she shot Jason, and everyone said it was an accident. I even heard the police say it. So you knew they were going to investigate? Well, yes, but uh, I thought the whole thing would be dropped. You thought it would be dropped? A man was dead, and you thought it was just going to go away? Cass, I was terrified. One minute I was arguing with Jason, and the next thing I knew, the gun went off, and, and he crashed through the mirror. Okay, so you were scared, and that's why you couldn't do anything that night. But what about all the other nights? What about the night Felicia was convicted of murder? I didn't know what to do. I gone so long without saying anything. So you just let her go to jail? Uh, I never thought it would come to that, Cass. You have to believe... But it did, didn't it? I mean, you helped me with the investigation. We stood in front of our mirror in our bedroom and reenacted the crime. You lived with me while I agonized over this case. And it wasn't just that this was a criminal case. It wasn't just the fact that I hadn't had one in years. But it was my best friend that I was defending. And all that time I was looking for the answers, and you had them? The whole thing got more and more complicated every day. I didn't know how to fix it. You mean you didn't know how to save yourself? No. no. Nicole, we slept in the same bed. You held me when I woke up screaming with those nightmares about Felicia going to prison. Her life's been destroyed and you did nothing. You just let it happen. No, stop it! Don't you have any conscience at all? Nicole, who are you? Who the hell are you? No, no, just stop it! Oh, Kenneth, let me go! I can't even look at you anymore. I'm Ruben, Ruben Lance. I'm uh, Mrs. Matthews, uh, Liz Matthews. Yeah. Hey, are you, uh, you a friend of Winthrop's? No, no. Well, well, yes, I mean, yes. Uh, well, uh, I'm very fond of, very close to Nicole. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's a nice lady. Yes, I do think that, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, Cass, that's a lucky brother, right? You see what I'm saying? Oh, yes, I, I think he is, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, check it out. Like, he's got all this stuff going for him. He's got a good job, nice woman, nice place to live, good job, everything. That's what I want, you know? What? Oh, no, what? Stuff Which? Who? What? Oh, well, well, all of that. Like, check me out, right? I mean, here I am, chilling out in this monkey suit, right? Trying to be chill. You know, but nobody in here will probably even know. I live in a boarding house with, like, drug addicts and drunks. Yes, of neighbors. course. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I have to find Nicole. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, too. People are starting to talk. Well, let them. I mean, we can't do much without the bride and the groom, though. Well, what is a wedding without a bride and a groom? You've got to say something, Michael. I don't know. What am I going to say? That the bride and the groom are back at our apartment arguing? Michael, please. I hate this. Please. Please do it for me. Please. Because I love you. That's my boy. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, please. I uh, guess you're wondering why we haven't started the festivities yet. I'd just like you to know that there's a little delay. It's nothing to worry about. But uh, Cass and Nicole will be here in a few minutes. So just please be patient. That was wonderful. I can't keep them off forever, Donna. Maybe you should go over to the suite and see if Nicole is all right. No, I think we'll wait a few minutes. Cass has been so wrapped up in his work lately, I was starting to wonder if this wedding was going to happen. I'm still wondering. God, where is he? I don't know. You know, Cass isn't the only one who's overworked. Who, me? Yes, you. Now, I'll take that trip with you to California. But if you so much as bring one manila folder with you, I'm on the red eye back to Chicago. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jamie. Don't start with me. Well, it's not me. It's your mother. She insisted on having lunch with us next week. Well, why didn't you get us out of that? Well, I really tried. I told her we had a lot to do, but she just insisted. So I guess you'll have to come home that day, huh? I suppose you know what's going on between Jamie and Victoria. Yes, I know. Well, I hope it works out, Jake. There's nothing worse than watching a marriage fall apart, I know. Oh, I'm sure you do. Jake, please don't do anything rash. Remember how much your own marriage means to you, and remember sometimes it's best to leave something unsaid when it's going to hurt someone that you love. I have a right to know, Donna. I hate to see Victoria suffering like this, and if you tell Marla that you think Stephen is your son, you're going to be hurting both of my daughters. I'm not the villain here. I'm not the one who's been lying for the last year, Donna. Just think about it, Jake. If Stephen is my son, I have a right to know, and he has a right to know who his father is. So Frankie had you hypnotized? It worked. I remembered something from that night. So what does that have to do with my brother? I remembered a woman at Fanny's party in the Hall of Mirrors. I remembered the earrings that she wore. Yes? Well, that's why Frankie and me were at that party on the yacht. I, I we were looking for the woman who wore those same earrings. It was a long shot, but it worked. Right, so if you mean that... If we you we find... found the person who shot the other gun. Who was it? Nicole. What? We told Cass. He didn't believe us. Of course he didn't believe you. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. The more we told him, the more he started to put some pieces together, I think. I'm sorry. No way. It's just not true. I think that's where he is now. He has to ask her for himself. I gotta call Mike. Understand. The longer I waited to say anything, the harder it got to tell the truth. Even while you watched all of us fall apart around you? I, I was sure your defense would work and Felicia would go free, and then we could all go on with our lives. Do you hear yourself? I can't believe this. I didn't know what to do. You killed a man! He wasn't a man, he was a monster! He was going to kill you! Damn it, Cass, he killed my mother! You don't know that! I couldn't say it! Every time I tried to tell you, the words got caught in my throat. I don't remember you ever trying to tell me anything like that. He told me that he had something to do with the fire that killed my mother. He didn't love her like he said he did. He killed the one person in my life who truly loved me. I loved you. And I couldn't let him hurt you. Don't you realize how much you hurt me? Nicole, I understand what happened with Jason. You do? Yes. What I don't understand is why you lied to me. Oh, because I love you. Not enough to tell me the truth. Oh, yes, I do love you, Cass. If I didn't, none of this would have happened. I would have done anything to help you. 
We could have gotten through this. I didn't know what to do. What would you have done if I hadn't found out from Frankie? Uh, I, I would have... You would have let it go on and on and on, wouldn't you? You would have let Felicia rot in prison for ten years, wouldn't you? I'm so sorry. Maybe we can fix it all now, Cass. Maybe after our wedding... You could stand up in front of our family and friends? And swear before God to love and cherish me for the rest of your life? Yes, because I'd be saying it to you. And you'd expect me to believe it? I've got to get out of here. Where are you going? Cass, what are you going to do? No, please don't go. Cass! Cass! No! Cass! Oh, don't leave me! Cass! Sorry to be the one to tell you. Oh, my brother. He'll be all right. How can you say that? It's Nicole. Maybe she can explain. Explain? There's got to be a reason why she didn't say anything. So many people's lives were torn apart. There and she watched it all happen. Please just calm down. I gotta go. Yes. Maybe you ought to leave him alone, you know? No, I'm the only thing he has right now. He certainly doesn't have Nicole anymore. I'm all he's got. You two take care of each other. Yeah. You always have. In a special kind of way. You want me to find him for you? No. I'll go to the church and I'll see if anybody's heard from him. I'll take you. No. I'd like to go by myself. Thanks for telling me all about you and Felicia. You deserve to know. I'll see you soon. Sure. Come on, I'll walk you to your car. Be a sign of good luck or something. <laughs> Must be because the sun was shining the day I married Russ. Must <laughs> employed for that matter. Well, I bet you didn't leave him standing at the altar, though. Oh, are you kidding? I was 90 minutes late the day I married Russ. <laughs> no. True. The whole the whole chapel had heat stroke or stroke by the time I got <laughs> what, there. What happened? Oh, it was nothing. No, come on, tell me. Well, I lost my left shoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? I had those satin shoes, you know, the kind that are almost died to match. Right. And, well, I, I mean, I guess I couldn't wear anything else. And, um, Liz almost bit my head off. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. I was a nervous wreck, and she kept saying things like, oh, how did a bride lose her shoe when she hasn't even worn mm. them before? And I knew this was a mistake. I knew it. Oh, She's really being generous with you, wasn't she? Well, she was right. The marriage was a mistake. <laughs> You know, I'm so worried about doing the wrong thing, like using the wrong salad and fork, drinking my soup out of the bowl or something. Was it a big wedding? No, it wasn't very big, but it was very posh. Posh? You? I can't picture that. I have trouble believing it happened to me myself. I should have known from that day that it wasn't going to work out. Well, you never can tell, can you? I tell you, if I ever do it again, I'm going to do it my way. If, if I ever do it again. Your way? What way is that? So don't no, come on, I've got to tell no, me. No, I'm come sorry. On. What, are you blushing? No, I am blushing. <laughs> <It's> your... <laughs> tell me. Come on. 
It would be small. And then, and then we'd have a great party under the stars, and we'd dance all night long to Patsy Klein and Roy Orbison. Oh, steal my heart. <laughs> I like that part. What about the ceremony? Well, I'd really listen to the vows and try to live by them, and I would make sure that I knew what every word meant. Our wedding day was the best day of my life. Where is Nicole, anyway? I saw you standing there at the end of the aisle. I was so happy. Where are you going? To get some air. I just called our suite and no one's there. Great, maybe they're on their way. Michael, I think something's wrong. wedded husband in sickness and in health to love honor and cherish stay forward She hasn't even noticed you and Vicky. I haven't said anything. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make sure people don't think. People are going to start asking questions. Well, I've made a decision, Jack. About what? We have to make sure who the father is, Jack. We can't go on with our lives until we do. So you'll have the test? Yes. You're doing the right thing, man. Well, we owe it to Stephen. Yeah. But when we find out, Jack, what do we do then? I guess that all depends on what the results of the test are. Does it? Stacy. Hey. So, I... Oh, I'm afraid I can't wait much longer. Well, what would Stacy do? Don't you two alone, come on. Excuse us, please. You know something, don't you? What? I'm afraid I do. I don't know how to tell you this.
I'm... I'm very sorry you all had to wait so long today. Nicole, no, I, I wouldn't try to stop her. But there isn't... There isn't going to be a wedding today. I'm not getting married. are coming and soapnet is getting you red carpet ready watch outings interviews and candid moments with the nominees during daytime emmy week starting monday may 16th at 11 only on soapnet